25 cents that the very first menu is going to have bounce on it. Okay, I'll take it. I'll take it. Oh, oh, give me my 25 oh, cents. No. Dude, it was so fast. You, could, you, you, you like top deck bounce. Oh my it God. wasn't. It was like number three. Oh, you, like, really? you, yeah, no. It's, okay. BB's able to read, bro. Like, who Dude, does that? I, I can't do that, bro. I'd be a second. Okay, but, um, yeah, I mean, right now, bounce offline. We got it so fast that we're, we're already bounceless again, but gonna be immediately going back to looking through the menu, trying to get space to get bounce again. Ooh, and uh, MP's getting a little bit low to the point where he can't just, like, freely throw out blacks just because. And but he, he, I like this, actually. Look at the way that King Ark is constantly putting on pressure. Not giving him the chance, oh. I was about to say, not giving him the chance to get bounced because once that little blue purple circle mm -hmm. envelops him, what all of Mega Man's stuff ceases to work. It's truly just, like, Becomes much more like a grab game based, like with like fair and such. But yeah, it's so rough. And like you were saying, so much use of like short hop pellet was being used. Also, all right, as a bounce. Oh as my come. God. Short hop pellet was used a lot to shut down menu, just hit him out of it over and over. So VV's gonna really need to be, when not having bounce, think about how is he gaining his fair or some move to give him space to fish for menu again. It's a really simple game plan, but it's so good. So it really doesn't matter. Yeah, King Ark has just been pushed to the corner, and part of the advantage, like, the, the extra bonus as hero is that if you are able to push your opponent into the corner, get him off stage, you have time to look at your menu to get the things that you really need. And just like that, a forward air coming down off that platform is enough to finally do the deed. King Ark on his second stock right now. You know, I, so I believe bounce with Leaf Shield. The Leaf Shield will hit while it's like around the circle, but I feel like as soon as Mega Man throws it, it'll then yes. reflect. We yeah. actually did see that interaction okay. uh, already. It's it, like so much of Mega Man's kit just immediately. Like, what moments does he have left over? Down tilt? Forward air? All, like, like Hero still has a sword. Like, you're not really going to be contesting him once that thing gets there. Another thing that's going to be so good for making sure BB has this build the ability to get space to menu is Accelerado. It's going to make it so much easier to exploit like Mega Man pressing projectiles and coming with a fair to get VV the space that he needs to get the menu going, zooming out of there and landing almost right back in the same spot. That was actually so good. He zoomed right away from the up air. He saw it coming. You knew that's kind of a strange situation. He can't just... Oh, oh my, my god. Lord. You're dead. Goodbye. Oh, and he didn't get a crit? Yeah, dude. I'm surprised it killed, honestly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, surprise fully charged on smash at the ledge. Ooh, it's like, it's funny that hero smash attacks. It's, oh, wow. The hitbox of the Nair, like the really close hitbox of the Nair yeah. hit, which is not a projectile. That was funny. But then I think the other part of it did get reflected. Yeah, but it fortunately didn't hit King Ark, so. But uh, actually, bounce is terrible in this matchup because King Ark's extremely close neutral air will yeah, for real. Uh, still hit him. <laughs> Oh, yeah. All things considered, this match was actually looking very rough for King Ark. Just has not been able to... Oh, wow. wow. That hit him... How far... Hmm. That's some character knowledge right there. That's... A, okay, what What knowledge character specific? That, to me, that looked like... I just know that this move is d dumb big. Yeah, I guess, I mean... Can we get a rehab of this? I need to see where this was. <laughs> to know uh, Flame Slash would hit under the ledge right there. Okay, yeah. So, here's a pop quiz. How... Where do you think he's going to get before he explodes? Right about here? Maybe here? Let's see. Oh, no. Oh, no. Where is it? How far away is he with it? Okay. okay. Let's get this. Oh, is it in the two frame? It's, I think it might be in the two no, frame No, I don't think that's two. That's way too far to oh, get the two no. frame, right? We don't even see the beginning no, animation no, yeah, of the two right. frame. It's that just, just hit him from, like... So low. That hit him from the ivy, dude. He was below the ivy. <laughs> Mega Man smiling as he's released into death. Uh, <laughs> oh, and the Ridley. Let's go. Wait, what? What do you still, mean, and the still Ridley? Still bounce in two seconds. <laughs> yeah, he was bouncing against Ridley, oh, yeah. idiot. <laughs> the the counterpicking worked. <laughs> Wait, oh. this is actually... Yeah, bounce the... this. Bounce this, BB. <laughs> King Ark, if you actually get your fireballs reflected by bounce, though, I, I'm yeah. going to be very disappointed with you. Okay, so this is... I've never seen King Ark's Ridley in my life. Have you? I, I've seen it in friendlies. I played in friendlies once. I did not know he'd bring it out. But honestly, that matchup did look pretty hopeless, at least the way Vivi was winning. So I, I don't blame him at all. Yeah, and I mean, so... Okay, he's still getting bounced. There's no point to get him 
Oh. Uh, this is a flex. And oh. Oh, oh, my God. Are you dead? No, not quite yet. Well, oh. Hold up. Hold okay. up. Hold on a second. The counter picking worked? Oh, beautiful parry on the kaboom. <laughs> oh, my what? Lord. Yo. He's parry. Why wasn't he parrying these moves back when he was Mega He's Man? He's just so ominously marching forward, parrying everything Hero has. Oh, no. It's, it, listen, even though he hasn't, you know, necessarily gotten that much damage, he's taken Hero's MP down to nothing just by parrying everything. Yeah, Acceleron Psych Up, though. Tough to beat that no matter what you're playing. And I think Vivi's gonna have... I feel like he's kind of still in the Mega, fighting Mega Man mindset, you know? I feel yeah. like he needs to switch it up a bit. Maybe, like, use Psybe more, honestly. Use something to kind of stuff out Ridley's giant body. I mean, I feel like a big part of what King Arc is doing right now is a lot of, like, walking around, being very careful, inching closer, just to finally get within range. Oh, he listened to me. <laughs> Two Psybe's in a row for Vivi. Yeah, now he's throwing out moves, recognizing that, like, Ridley can't even do that much when he's across the stage. Oh. I clicked on Kamikaze for a second. I, so did I. <laughs> oh, what was that? That was a misinput. Yeah, he I definitely wanted up smash. He wanted the reverse up smash so that the, the foot would hit first and accidentally just F smash backwards. Uh, ooh, yeah, no MP. Once again, he picked bounce. He's, he's still in the Mega Man mindset. <laughs> oh, dang. It's vote reflect. I feel like, you know what it might be? I, so, just, normally, we see uh, VV play hero against characters where, okay, that, but uh, against characters who have projectiles. Like mm -hmm. that is like he plays this character for the bounce as a ca like as a counter pick type thing. So maybe it's just like his eternal muscle memory is yeah. just click bounce because when when is he gonna be facing hero against a Ridley? That's true. Um, and honestly, okay, all things considered, picking bounce isn't too bad because it takes it off the menu. So it does make your RNG of getting other things slightly better. So there, there is a reason to it, even against a projectileless character, but all in all, oh definitely picking it a bit too much. That's, that's gonna do it? Okay, hold on a second. Great stuff to King Arc. Now we have a really interesting thing here, which is that we do have the chance for VV to counter the character. Yeah. So King Arc has to lock in first. Is he confident in his Ridley against VV's Lucario? I think he's definitely gonna stay the Ridley because I don't think he's confident in his Mega Man beating the hero. The way game one happened, I think, and to be completely honest, God, look at this. That was so sick. Lu Lucario Ridley does not seem that like rough or terrible. It's it seems like you have a chance to make things go your way. Okay, the thing is, Ridley has surprisingly bad kill power for such a heavy guy, and also is surprisingly light for such a heavy <laughs> such guy. Such a heavy guy. Yeah. Um, and then at the same time, he's so big. Lucario's hitboxes. Like, think about trying to thread the needle of avoiding aura spheres. Back airs, all that stuff. Oh, We're not state. getting that though? Oh, is this trying to redeem his honor? Or? A statement piece from BB right here. As he Why would you bounce again? What? I'm so confused. <laughs> he's got bounce on his first menu every freaking time though. That is true. Oh. This time around, I want to point out the way that the last game started, it was very dominant for BB uh, at the beginning. But then King Ark just found the kill first. Mm -hmm. And right now, this is looking even better for King Ark. Even on this larger stage, he's able to chase him down. He just can't really land. Oh, are you dead? Oh, wow. Oom Psycho Dash Jack almost taking it. And that well, what a fortunate turn of spells for Vivi. Gonna be able to all of a sudden flip things around so much. Yeah, King Ark was really hoping he would roll right there, but. Yeah. Okay, so he went for that forward smash read, right? But the thing is that Vini is not scared enough right now to just be trying to roll out of the corner. Yeah. He's just way too confident. To be honest, I think Vivi's now going to play way more like projectile-based menu. I think that's... that's yeah. Or just in yeah. general, look at that. That's so clean with Accelerado. It's and he's, such a huge hitbox. I, I th is he healed? Is he even a better position than he was before? Man, this Ruby Counterpick was working out fantastically. But it's... It's crumbling right now. BB has figured out how to play around it. I thought there might have been something cheeky off like that hit. Oh, catches his jump. He has some others, but... Wow. wow. Nice timing. Really?
that is not something you see too often. No, it, it, I feel like as soon as VB got that stock lead, King Ark's whole like plan kind of just crumbled. Yeah, the thing, well, the thing is that he just started holding forward. And mm -hmm. part of that is it's a bigger stage. That taking incremental space like he was on a on, uh, small battlefield, it's just a lot harder because, you know, incremental space, you're pushing him further back, but there's so much more room to get him into the corner. Yeah, some, uh, So he was just holding forward a lot more and just getting hit for it. Something I've been thinking about that was really uh, the stock one of game three. King Ark almost like zero to death's VV and then misses one dash attack to like put him off stage and then this happens and I just wonder what a different world this would be if King Ark was a little bit faster than that dash attack, you know? Could have been such a yeah. different game. Yeah, also, can we talk about how this this almost killed? Yeah. He was at 50. Psych up. Psych up almost killing Ridley at 50. Yeah. Would have killed most of the cast at 50. I'm going to be honest, Ridley not big enough. Yeah, That's not, what I gotta not, say. not fat enough. He's wearing metal armor, you would think, you know, be able to take some hits.